assessing student learning. How do we assess learning? We use usually two different types of assessment when we try to assess learners' achievement. The first type is formative ongoing low risk assessment in which we use feedback to improve learning processes and learner skills. The second type is summative assessment where we assign grades to student achievement and uh, in this case it is often too late to give feedback and to improve performance. What do we assess? We assess the six levels of learning on Bloom's taxonomy, which include knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, evaluation, and even creativity. To assess these levels, we use various kinds of tools, such as exams, cases, projects, problems, oral presentations, and even students' abilities to come up with innovative solutions to existing problems. Good assessment practices are commonly described as ones which mix between different kinds of assessments when trying to assess learners' knowledge and skills. As higher education practitioners, we also recognize that much learning happens when we focus on the process of learning, not only on the product itself. We use assessment to create opportunities where learners can learn by themselves, from their peers, and from their teachers. As we use diverse assessment tools and methodologies, our ultimate goal is to positively improve student learning and to emphasize skill building. As much as we want to increase students' knowledge base, we also want to see them demonstrate teamwork skills, presentation skills, critical thinking, analysis skills, and ideally, we want to see them construct and create knowledge by themselves.